Next thing I want to show you is electronic scoring. So we, the way we've approached this with PlayHQ is we've decided not to build an app for a couple of reasons. One, apps um, only work for a particular operating system, so you've got to build multiple apps. Um, in addition to that, there are issues around the delay of publishing. So say for Apple and iOS, when you release an update for an application, there's a, there's a period of time where they vet what's been built before they release it. And by that time, it's um, potentially out of date. Um, and also just for, I guess, ease of development and, and, and to assist associations, we didn't want to restrict the electronic scoring platform to only certain um, operating system. So this thing has been designed in in a website and it can work on pretty much any any of the common platforms such as laptop, PC, um, iPad, Android tablet. So it, it works through a web browser. So anything that runs a, uh, um, that, that's somewhat modern um, in terms of hardware and, and also browser, it will work. But you can check the, the minimum requirements on the PlayHQ support page. So the way it works is, and I might jump back in here and just quickly show you the, the admin rights to this. So if I go into my association and admin rights, any full access administrator can log in to your association and download its games to a device. In addition to that, you can also create a electronic scoring administrator for your stadium supervisors, for example, because you don't want them to have full access to the back end of your database, but you might want to give them electronic scoring access to download games from your association to their particular stadium. So I'm in the test environment here, but ordinarily you would go to score.playhq.com on your scoring device. I'll also mention that this um, electronic scoring, despite it going through the um, through a web browser, the geniuses at PlayHQ have managed to build it in a way where you can download games when connected to the internet, score the games in an offline situation where there's no internet at the stadium, and then come back into internet connectivity and upload the game results to the back end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in to using my association login. Um, as I said, either a full access administrator or an electronic scoring admin can log in to download games. I'm going to select the venue. So, for example, I'm going to select Burundara Sports Complex for this device that I'm going to score on. You can download up to seven games worth, uh, seven days worth of games. And I'm also going to set a pin that will be used by referees to sign off games. So once you put in all that information, the stadium, how many days in advance you want to download games for, and the pin, I can start the session. Now the electronic scoring app or the website is going to look for games at this stadium for those, um, those parameters that I put in before. Now from here, I can select which court at this venue I want to score on. Um, so you, you can click on court two or court three or whatever. I'm going to run court one. So once I've selected my the date, I can also change between dates if I've downloaded future dates. I'm going to do, score today, court one. I'm going to hit the lock button. So what that does is that prevents anyone such as scorers without the, the pin to change to another court and muck around with which games are going to be scored on this device. So from there, you click on the game you want to score. At the end of the game, what I might do is I might just show you this before I, I take any questions on this. You can end the period, end the game, and when you end the game, you need to put in the, um, the pin number. So any scorer can't just come in there and end the game. The, you, you need the, the pin code that's typically provided to the referees in order to sign off a game. So I might just um, check the score, submit that, put in my pin number, hit confirm, and that game has been completed. The results, now that that tick has appeared, the results have been sent to the back end, which I'll show you in a sec, and then I can move on to the next game. Um, 